Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Planet Groove. You just got a little bit of a taste of Adriana Evans' album. And here she is on Planet Groove, and she's going to give us lots more in the coming up segments. How are you doing? Hi. It is so good to have you here. Thank you. It's good now, to be here. Your album, there's been so much of a buzz surrounding it. Does yeah. that surprise you? Well, a little bit, because it was done a couple of years ago. Wow. Almost two years ago. So it's, it's nice to know that it's not stale to everyone else. That is so surprising to me when I hear stuff like that, that it's, it takes so long for the whole process. Oh, yeah, to the take process it. is very tedious. It's a very long road. So is this like 
A good time for you now. You're happy you've gotten here. Oh, it's yeah. So yeah, it do. feels really good. It yeah. feels really good. And you're from a musical family. Mm -hmm. Your mom is a singer. Yeah, and, singer, yes. Right. Now, do you find that that has affected your whole style and, and what you do now? Uh, it, it affects my perception in terms of the way I look at music. You know, um, jazz is my background, but my record is not a jazz record at all. <laughs> right. I mean, it has jazz undertones. Yeah. But it's it's steep in the tradition of soul right. and, you know, R&B and right. hip hop, of mm -hmm. course. Classic soul, R&B. Yeah, they yeah. call it neo-classic soul, but okay. I just call it music. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's, you can definitely hear the jazz undertones in it, mm -hmm, though. Mm -hmm. You know, now you got your professional start with Dred Scott. Right. Working with him. He's been with you um, all throughout. And you, he produced your album. Yeah, yeah. What is the the whole chemistry between you guys? You know, there there's just certain people that you you work with in the industry and you just click. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was like synergy for us. I mean, we really think alike in terms of music. And he's a great, I mean, a great composer and writer, and just he, the way he hears things. Right. It's, it's just magic to work with him. And I've been working with Rastin Calhoun, who is my musical arranger, and he and Dread together worked on the arrangements for the horns and the strings and right you write as well oh yeah well yeah the songs were written by myself and Dred Scott That's all of the songs do you find that a lot of the traveling you did with your mom has helped you um, find your niche that you want to get into in this business whether well, it's writing or performing yeah well traveling with my mother helped me it was like an inside in terms of knowing the dynamics of traveling on the road. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole or right. that's a whole other animal altogether. Right. Uh -huh. But um, you know, she's given me great advice. You know, a lot of great advice. My mom, Mary Stallings, my mommy. <laughs> that shout out, girl. Yeah. But people don't realize how hard it is that that on the road thing. Oh yeah, make. it's grueling. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot out. You have to really prepare yourself for it mentally and physically. Now I know that a lot of people, your musical friends, yeah. helped you with this album. Oh, the, the musicians on the records just. Endless. It, it's a musical family. I mean, for me, music is communal. I mean, it's not just about me. It's about playing with the musicians and them vibing, and it's about giving and sharing. So for me, I mean, my band, all the cats that worked on the record, it's just an incredible experience. I mean, we're like a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see it when you perform. Just yeah. That it's not. I introduced you as Adrian Evans, and you did the. They're my people. It's everyone. They yeah. they would make. They're what really makes it work. They're right. the glue. They're the right. foundation. Definitely. Well, we're really happy to have you here. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. And I'm you. looking forward to hearing more from you on today's oh, show. I can't wait. <laughs> so stick around, everyone. Adriana Evans is here. We're going to talk with her some more when we, when we come back. Classic soul R&B. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Welcome back to Planet Groove. Adriana Evans is here. And the album has come out, but and it's in stores now, but it got released in the UK first. Yeah, we, we, we did that. We released actually a song called Reality in the UK and in Japan. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of get it out in the world, right. you know, make it a world thing. Right. Yeah. But I find that Europeans are so much more accepting of different types of music, yeah. you know, music that includes all different kinds of things. But here in the States, we have to feel that it has to fit into a form. Category. Category. Yeah. yeah, the categorization thing here. Um, the Europeans have really eclectic tastes. I mean, their their radio programming is a lot different. Right. I mean, you'll hear Beethoven and Samba and, mm -hmm. you know, LL right. all in the same right. format. Right. So they just kind of see music as music and they don't separate it and ca categorize it. So. It should be like that. Yeah, you know? in a perfect world. <laughs> right, well, I make tapes like that, you know, a little you know? bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. That's what I like. Me too. Right. Yeah. Now tell me about your CD. It's an enhanced CD. Right. So explain that. Meaning that you can stick it into the computer and then there are separate little doors that you can go into. You can actually see the video or you can see it. Um, press it into the little biography section where there's an autobiography I'm talking about my life and you see pictures of my family my mother performing with Count Basie and Dizzy Gillespie and grandfather and uncles that's and bands nice. in the 40s yeah that's really nice I guess that's gonna become more popular nowadays oh yeah everyone's hooked up yeah you know that's right, yeah. that's right. now the whole sound of classic soul and R&B is becoming so much more popular now right I mean artists like the Maxwell's the D'Angelo's right. and right. everything they've, they've made that more popular right why do you think that's happening now I, I just think that what's happening is that every 20 years people look back 
you know, and it's not like, I, I don't consider it a retro movement in the sense that it's not like people are trying to go back. It's just looking back and building off of what was done and giving it a new twist. So I think it's a nice little injection of life into into black music. Okay. Yeah. Now your lyrics, I said before that you write as well. Yes. Your lyrics are very passionate, lots of emotion, and yeah. they're on all different subjects. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to get that on paper? Because I know, I mean, I listen to some of the songs and the words, I can't imagine having to write that, feeling that, and right. then having to write that. Right. You know? Well, for and me, having it come across, you right. know, the way it does. Right. Well, for me, songs start with the music. Music evokes certain emotions, and, and I'm a writer. I write every day in a journal. I write twice a day. I write when I get up, and I write when I go to bed. Yeah. And, like, for me, I, I can't think unless I'm writing. Mm -hmm. So I'll go back and look, like, in my journals, and, you know, if I hear a certain string or whatever, string arrangement that evokes a certain emotion, I'll try to look into my journal and see if there's something there that covers that and then I'll build off of that right do you do it the other way around as well write the words and then have to get the music to go that's really it? hard for me mm -hmm. you know some people are really good at that but for me it starts with the music right. yeah what gives you the inspiration to write those words like in your journal when you're writing just daily thoughts you know things that I'm going through you know just being a human being on the planet right. you know Does the your environments affect that I know I've, I've talked to some artists who when they change their environment it's hard for them to get that same kind of vibe they had before you know well it's about evolution you know you're always you're, you're constantly growing as a human being and so your lyrics grow with you right. yeah because your emotions are well different. I want to hear more of those lyrics Adriana <laughs> you're not going anywhere okay. stick around everyone we're gonna hear more from Adriana Evans and some songs that are on her self-entitled album coming up after this <laughs> Welcome back to Planet Groove. Adriana Evans is with us, and here she is performing the first of many hits to come. Seeing is believing.
If you're just joining us, Adriana Evans is here. She's done a little singing, and we've talked a little bit. So I want to welcome you again to the Thank show. You. I think you're wonderful. Thank you. Now, you're a newcomer to the scene, right? but you've managed to have quite a bit of control over what you do, your album, your career. Yes. Has that been important to you? It's, it's been very important to me. I'm, I feel very blessed that with this project, I had a lot of creative control in there. There really wasn't a lot of say from the record company in terms of what the album would be. It was just kind of we were allowed to go in the studio and just do what we wanted to do. Right. Yeah. Now, I was telling you earlier, we haven't had a 
lot of women. Come on, right. Planet Crow. Female perspective, y'all. I know. We're trying to get it out. All the guys in the crow is like, what's up? You only have guys right, over Right, right, right. But we're working on it. But has it been difficult for you in a male-dominated industry to maintain that control? I really haven't had any problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there really wasn't a lot of chauvinism or sexism with, you know, my dealings with the people at, at my label. So, I mean, I've heard horror stories from other people, yeah. but in my experience, it's been very wonderful. Right. Well, that's always good to hear. Yeah. Now, you have a great sense of style, oh, and you. you've been commended for your sense of style as much as for your voice, oh, which is beautiful. Thank you. Have you ever thought of going into something in fashion, maybe? Not really as a career. <laughs> right. you know, I, yeah. I, I, I love fashion and I'm very fashion conscious and right. you know but for me singing writing songs right you know have you ever wanted to get into another side of the industry as well possibly acting and producing films right yeah I do love film oh me too watching them <laughs> you know but we really want to thank you for coming on as oh. well you really are wonderful and have a beautiful voice thank you okay, you're gonna sing some more for us oh, I'm gonna do some more definitely okay. Thank you. 